satyendra and today i am going to explain you a very um, important question it is uh, the question is from uh, the chapters of uh, thermodynamics and this was asked in this was asked in cfr net june 2016 okay so let's read the question okay when an ideal monatomic gas is expanded adiabatically from v0 to 3v0 its temperature changes from t0 to t find the ratio t over t0 so they have asked you to calculate this ratio and this monoatomic gas is expanded adiabatically okay okay so let's see how to solve this question okay so uh, it was given the adiabatic process okay you can see that so in adiabatic process there is uh, not uh, the exchange of uh, energy or heat between gas and its surrounding okay so in uh, adiabatic process there is no exchange of heat between gas and its surrounding okay and the following relation holds good so this uh, this the following relation this is the that relation this relation holds good in the adiabatic process okay so in adi so this what you are looking at here is uh, p1 is the initial pressure of the gas uh, v1 is the initial volume of the gas this uh, gamma is the ratio cp over cv okay and this is the final pressure this is the final volume okay so these are the quantities in this uh, formula okay which you should know okay so in adiabatic process this formula holds good okay so now let's see more about this uh, ratio gamma equals to cp over cv okay so that further equals to 1 plus 2 over f here f is the degree of freedom okay so in my previous lecture i have already explained you about the degrees of freedom so you can go back to that lecture and can you can learn more about the degrees of freedom okay so now now for monoatomic gas i have already explained you in that lecture that for monoatomic gas the degree of freedom is 1 for because the uh, this uh, the the atom can move uh, or translate in the three directions okay in the three di dimensions so that's why the degree of freedom is 3 and the rotation and the vibrations are neglected in monoatomic gas so the degree of freedom is 3 and so the gamma becomes 5 by 3 okay so this becomes 5 by 3 okay so now the equation my equation number one this is my this equation now becomes like this as you can see here okay so the equation becomes like this now for uh, let's uh, do it for one mole okay now for idle gas one mole we all know this is the idle gas equation pv equals to rt and here the number of moles is taken one so we have this equation from here i can easily calculate the value of pressure okay now i am what i am going to do i am going to plug this value in this equation accordingly okay so i have plugged the values okay so now you can see there is the, the this equation how the values have been plugged okay okay now i forgot here to write two okay there's two okay so uh, you can see this equation from this equation this r and r will get cancelled from both the sides and you will be left with this much part okay okay so you can solve this and you can easily arrive at this at this point okay so you have arrived at this point okay here t is the initial temperature this is the final temperature this is the final volume and this is the initial volume okay okay now now it is was it was given in the question that now given the gas expanded from this initial volume v0 or v0 to 3v0 okay so this is the initial volume and this is the final volume so this initial volume is v1 equals to v0 and v2 equals to 3v0 okay and its temperature changes from v0 to t so initial temperature t1 equals to t0 and t2 equals to t so i am going i am plugging this value in my previous equation and that uh, the previous equation is you can see here okay so here is that equation okay so i have plugged those values in my equation number three okay so you can see that equation that equation i'm putting the values in equation number three that equation becomes like this okay okay now you can see that in this equation 
this v0 and v0 will get cancelled in both the sides and you will be left only with this much part okay and this can be further re further rearranged like this okay and that's your answer you we have we were asked to find out the ratio of t over t0 and this is our answer okay thanks for watching this video friends thank you very much if you like this video please share with your friends like and subscribe okay thank you very much